you'll remember in school in those classes whenever you had a boring teacher who would you know just pass on information in a very cold consistent very factual like way versus the storyteller type teacher the one where the skin or the hair on your skin would start to raise you know the one that had a way of captivating the whole room the whole audience and transmitting a message on a deep emotional level of which you probably still remember the message today so now that ties in with another thing that I've been uh, experiencing this morning which is you know this morning I woke up with a sense of a little bit of sadness a little forlorn um, a little bit again you know the slight sense of heaviness not wanting to go out or do something and I've been at it full on in the last two weeks non-stop I haven't worked I worked on weekends I've been ignoring my family a little bit instead of trying to do something to you know to avoid it to escape it to go out and I don't know start my day instead of focusing on that I sat with it and there is a beautiful thing that happens when you're able to sit with any comfortable or uncomfortable, sorry, emotions that you have is through the process of just sitting with yourself, not judging, not quest asking questions, not trying to analyze, just putting your awareness, awareness on that individual little feeling and where it's situated in your body. Slowly, slowly, it starts to untangle. The energy of it starts to release and spread and dis dissipate, right? Because all it is is a block stock stuck energy or feeling that's what emotions are right they're just a frequency of an energy that happens to be coursing through in your body and needs to be expressed and once it's expressed a release happens and when that release happens that's when all sorts of interesting things happen realizations happen um, you know level ups happen you're able to push through a limitation that you might have had and um, um, and as a result of you being able to sit with that you're able to understand what you've been stuck with and how you can now move forward. It all seems to tie up into this very specific story type pattern, right? In my quest to go find the prize, to overcome the battle, to overcome and achieve my objective, then a personal transformation occurs. And that is the pretty much format of any great story, right? You know, it is some kind of an externally perceived threat or challenge or difficulty which causes an internal strife an internal struggle right and in that struggle you have to go to the depths of it in order to finally realize that it's up to you to move forward and get past it and it usually comes in the form of some kind of an external objective at first you know you want to be successful you want to reach many many people through with your message you want to get that girl, you want to get that house, you want to get that car, all those things, even though they're external, always represent some kind of an internal need for you to prove your own worth and to prove your own worthiness and to heal in some kind of emotional level. And storytelling is the format of which that happens, right? And specifically, how you can now start to own your own story and create the meaning that you want with it, right? The Not the meaning that you're left where the world is against you. You're a victim of your circumstances, so to speak, right? That is not a very effective story, but it's a story that most people go around playing in their heads. Every time you complain about something, every time you are jealous, every time, you know, you don't step up every time that you just stay in bed and you don't move forward or you you know you don't go after what you really want effectively what you're doing is you're giving power to that story of being a victim and playing off past traumas and past excuses of why you didn't have this conditions growing up you didn't have this skill set you don't have this or that resources but i'll tell you the only important resource you have is your own resourcefulness and that stems from your creative ability to command and control the meaning of your own story such that it is an empowering one rather than a disempowering one so I'll repeat that the power you have in creation is your ability to control your own story such that you can turn it into an empowering one rather than a disempowering one why we resonate so much with other people's stories is because it gives us that little hope that we can transform as well that you know we can be that hero in that story because that is what effective storytelling does and so you know storytelling is a very powerful and effective way not only to capture people's attention but also to communicate the real essence of who and what you are about right in your message in your brand and also more importantly not just as a way to externally attract people to your cause to your service to your mission but 
as a way for you to gain an integrated, consistent, and congruent story of your own life and your own mission and to determine what is that big goal what's that external thing that is driving your internal transformation and that's when you start to resonate on a massive level and that's when the energy that you have shows up from what you're truly excited with that story that you want to live that you want to create and at the end of all that though it's really important to remember it's all just a story. It's not something that we have to buy in, identify, and think that, oh my God, this is the end. This is where I'm always gonna be stuck with this kind of a story because that is the beauty of you as a conscientious creator, right? You are free to show up in any which way you want and change the story at any which point that you want. The only person that cares about what story is going on in your head, the most important story of all, is you. So you might as well gain a conscientious control of it and write the story that you want. Be the own architect of your own future. Be a creative agent of change for your own life. And in the process, inspire and create change and transformation for a lot, a lot of people. So if you liked today's story, then make sure that you like my page, that you subscribe to this channel, that you comment also if any of this resonated with you and you wanna share one of your stories or how you've overcome and rewritten your own story, then go ahead and leave a comment. Or in the meantime, I wish you all a wonderful day and uh, peace out.